Hey, you don't hear? <clears throat> okay, well, I'm back with another video about the white Westinghouse clothes dryer. Let me get over here and move the camera. It uh, quit heating again. And I figured it out. And I'll see if I can show. I've already fixed it. I figured that would be too bright. I didn't want to put the camera too close, but I may Let's put it to where I can see it and then maybe I can get it where the camera can see it. It's hard for me to see the small screen, so oh, I think that's okay. I'll just kind of center it up and leave it because if I get too close, this camera won't focus. Okay, so uh, it's plugged in, so I've got to remember not to touch anything. I don't know if you can see that. I think you might be able to see the green wire that I replaced that. That was a black wire, and I uh, replaced it. It was a jumper from the uh, from the. Uh, I think I still need to try to get close enough to show it. Closer than that. Yeah, I think it just washed it out now, though. Very hard to get the light right with this camera. Let's get this out of here and see. Maybe if I don't make a shadow, it'll be all right. Let's try that. There we go. I don't really know. Okay, so uh, the. Uh, there's a jumper wire going from the uh, high cutoff, uh, just going from the high uh, temperature cutoff down there to the, uh, everywhere I move I make a new shadow, <coughs> to the uh, heating coil. And uh, it's, um, it's the power, uh, uh, yeah, it'd be part of the power circuit, I guess. I, I'm not even going to try to... Uh, what, th this was wa black wire. Uh, now, let's see if I can see. I just realized the other one, maybe it may have been a different color. Yeah, the other one is red and black. And color, you know, or orange, I can't tell for sure. And then the one jumping over was black. Uh, I kind of hated to change the color, but... Because, uh, you know... You can't really find the wiring diagram colors and stuff like that anyway. I don't think. Well, there was one in the that I found anyway. Uh, I had that's all I had, and it was the right gauge. It was 14 gauge stranded wire, and the and the one I took out. I'll try to show it as much as I can. Let's see. Let's put it up here and see if it'll maybe down here would be better. So here's the wire, and I've already cut about a half inch off of it, and it is still corroded, and the and the the uh, insulation is still hard right in there. You'd need to cut another half inch off, and then it was going to be too short. And so uh, I decided to, and you know, this this dryer was I think it was made in '92, so that's a lot of years for a wire on a heating circuit to be heated up, cooled down, heated up, cooled down. It, it's still corroded there. I left that piece. I was starting to go ahead and cut it off. If I did ever use it for anything at all, I would uh, cut some more off. But it's so short now. I don't know what I would use it for, really. <coughs> so anyway, it works. <coughs> I'll turn it on. <coughs> and... Uh, <coughs> Works. It heats up, and when you look through a, a little spot in there, trying to turn the other light off. When you look through a little spot in there, you can see. There it is. I can see it. Let's see if I can.
I don't know if that'll get to where you can see it. I think it already went off. Yeah, I know it's on. I'm just not standing in the right place. There, I think you see that orange? That's the heating coil heating up, so you can see that it's heating. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Whoop, got to leave the door open longer than that. Okay. I got something in my finger. Either cut it or got something in it. Feels like there may be something in there. Usually it's a little piece of wire. When you work with wire, it's probably what you're going to get in your finger. But anyway, uh, oh, the lens cap started banging on the side of the tripod, and I thought I had. It sounded like an electrical short. What it sounded like. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put the lid down now. Let's go ahead and get my light back on. It does help me to see things. To see what I'm doing a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. And uh, I tested the uh, the high limit uh, coil. Not high limit coil. The high limit sensor. The high limit thermostat. Whatever you wanna call it. And the thermostat. They both have continuity. When that wire was on there and when I had it off, when it was broke, they still had continuity. Uh, but I saw one test where it told you to take the uh, high limit thermostat out to test it, and another one where it didn't say take it out, it just showed you testing it in, in the unit. It may, it may vary from model to model. The one that said take it out was for this model. The other one was kind of a general one. I think it was for Sears brand stuff. But anyway... Uh, And I tried testing for uh, for res how many ohms of resistance, and uh, I got a, I got about twelve I got twelve ohms of resistance on the uh, on the heating coil itself. But the other things they just they just read zero. And I can't even remember. I've been I studied for went back through my old videos to remember what I can't remember stuff very long anymore. And I watched a couple of the how-to videos I had put in my bookmarks, and uh, I. Uh, <clears throat> you know, tested it the best I could. So, uh, I'll put it back together. There we go. There we go. Shit. So, I don't know, you know, but maybe that wire built up so much resistance over the years that uh, it just, you know, replacing it might might fix me right up. Or maybe there really is something wrong with the, uh, you know, the thermos, one of the thermostats. So I'm going to uh, replace I'm going to see if I can order them I saw one deal on it I, on one site yeah you know this this is uh, all, uh, July 2021 and everybody knows right now everything's really gone up and a lot of things are scarce I didn't have trouble finding it but I'm, the prices had tripled and doubled from the, the supply side repairclinic.com I used to get stuff from uh, they have tripled and doubled on their prices uh since uh june um, and january of this year when i repaired this thing kind of rebuilt it i put a uh, new heating coil a new uh, drum bearing new door felt a kit with all that uh, i think that was pretty much it and uh so uh and some of that said well the, the kit the the door kit i had bought like a couple of years before that and it didn't put it in yet. Uh, the drum bearing, I already had bought that too. But anyway, I think it was in that kit. Yeah, it was a one kit with everything in it. <clears throat> so, uh, 
uh, the, you know, I have the prices. I always put the prices on my bookmarks so I'll know if I look at something again if it's gone up or down. And boy, I couldn't believe it. So uh, it was $54 for a high limit switch for this on that same site. That's where I used to just go ahead and buy everything because there wasn't that much difference in the price. And well, back few, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you couldn't find this stuff anywhere else anyway. But it wasn't that, it, it's just over the years, it's just gone up and up and up. Uh, now, uh, well, I, like I was, I don't know if I see, yeah, I said a minute ago about for 12 something, $12 and something, it was a kit with all of the sensors, like uh, thermostat, high limit, and there's another one that goes down there. I think there was actually four in that kit, but it wasn't for this model. And I didn't bother keeping on and on looking to find this exact model. It's harder to find because it's older, you know. But uh, I found some new ones. I didn't think they were making them anymore, but I found some new ones. And they were only for, they were only, they were 50 hertz, 240 volt for overseas. I didn't see, it was their website, White Westinghouse website. Didn't see anything for America. That used to be an American brand of, uh, sold by Gibsons. Uh, and Whites, there used to be a hardware store called Whites. It was an American chain store. So somehow they ended up overseas uh, in Europe. But they only had two models of dryers <laughs> that I, on that site. So, <laughs> so I thought, well, what about just buying a new one? This one's been so good, but they wouldn't even work here in America without some converters and stuff. I don't even know how you'd convert it to the Hertz, you know. It, uh, most everything else you'll see in the world I'll go 50, 60 hertz, either one. And it'll go, uh, a lot of things will go 125 to 220, 240 volts and work internationally. But that was strictly for Europe. Europe, Asia, whatever, wherever. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it was located. But uh, maybe I never really looked to see where the website was, you know, where they were located, the manufacturer. Anyway, I got it working again. And I'm going to see if I can get, the, make sure I get the right ones. And just go ahead and order them, and uh, probably you see how long it works, you know. And if it doesn't need them, because you know stuff you get now. One reason why it's cheap because it's made so cheap. Or some of these cheap things like that are made so much worse than they used to be. I mean, this was made in 1992, and maybe they've gone out now, or maybe they're still okay. And it was really just the the uh, when you know. I guess everybody. I don't guess everybody knows but when you. You know, uh, oxidation uh, builds up resistance, and there's you could see the oxidation on the wire. But heat, heating this is obviously high temp wire, it wouldn't have worked well, uh, high enough temp anyway. Uh, going to straight onto that heating coil, you know. Uh, there was two uh, female spade connectors, you know, one on each end, and the other one was, you know, still connected to the heating coil in the. And the wire just, it, was, it looked like it had been, uh, you know, welded or brazed or something. It was just as smooth and round uh, on the end of the wire there where it had broke loose. So it had really got hot. But resistance in a wire can cause it to get hot. And you got a heating coil on the other end of it. That might, I'm hoping that's all it was. Uh, but I won't know until I try it. <coughs> Lucky the dryer has enough. Um, well, for one thing, even if the wire melted down, it wouldn't touch. It, it wouldn't if it any. It, it shouldn't touch anything. And if it did, I kind of was careful about that. But if it did, it would. Uh, uh, well, there's still a breaker in the wall, last resort. But I, I think I know. I'm not worried about it. You know, uh, there's enough check checks in the dryer to keep it from uh, catastrophically failing. Oh, I forgot to. I got my marker and I was going to put a piece of, I was trying, what can I label that with to remind, it, remind me that I changed the wire color, you know, if I ever look at it again and forget that. But uh, while I'm making a video, that, that actually helps me real good. I spent hours all afternoon while it was hot outside, uh, you know, looking through my videos because I had, I had like 70 videos all in all on this dryer. <laughs> and, uh, and then, I, you know, kind of reviewing things because I couldn't remember all, everything I had done. So anyway, it's ready to go. That is still wobbly. I figured out what I did wrong on this. 
when you use that, uh, it's like, uh, I don't even know where it is right now, but that uh, JB Weld uh, clay, I'll call it. When you use that stuff, I'd never used it before. On uh, the instructions show that you cut it, don't tear it. And see, and after I did, and I tore it because I'd seen a video where somebody did it. And it seemed the quickest, easiest way to do it. And, uh, but when you twist, you twist it off some off and you end up with unequal, uh, not, you know, unequal amounts. It's already got the hardener and the uh, rest of it in a little bar, bar clay dough. And if you cut it, then you're going to get the right amounts. And that's why that stuff didn't harden, I'm sure, enough. It, it still works about like it did before, a little better than it did when I finally did this. But uh, I want it to where it doesn't move at all, you know. It's hard, kind of hard to tell where you're at on the deal. If you get it turned off and put it on there with the arrow pointed off, then it'll it, it's calibrated. But uh, anyway, that's that. Let's see. Can't remember how to. This remote's the only way I can really operate this thing, but I also forget how to do that. And if you better press the wrong button, it locks up the camera. But uh, I think uh, there's a there's a picture of the camera on one of the buttons. That's how you start it recording. I think maybe that's how you stop it. You hit that red stop button, that'll lock it up, and video will still work in most players, but it 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 doesn't get an end date, you know, end timestamp on it. And I can't, uh, well, there's a button on the back there. I know that will do it. I think I'll use the button on the back of the camera because that way I know. Oh, okay. And then I think this does it. All right.